Carl Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. What comes into your mind when you hear Cape Coast? Even as not be And then about trim when you think about or when you hear the word Cape Coast. Let me tell you something. Everybody will say Cape Coast is the hub of tourism. Yes, because anybody who travels to Ghana will definitely want to go through Cape Coast. Want to go through Central Region to see the dungeons, the castles, the canopy walkways, and then our beautiful beaches. Now, aside that, Cape Coast is also known for fishing. Yes, fishing as one of the occupations for the locals of Cape Coast. We could say that Cape Coast is somehow a salaried region. When I say salaried, like a lot of us are government workers, even me. But in September, this is where the focus is. In September, Cape Coast is September and September is Cape Coast. You want to ask me, Echo, why this ranting about Cape Coast is September? Because this is when... The good people of Cape Coast come together to share love. This is where the good people of Cape Coast, both in and outside, come together to say, Afeno Asu, the year has successfully, gracefully ended or started. So then we have to give thanks and praise to our maker, to our 77 gods of the land. And this is where Ogwa Fetu Afashe comes in. You may have heard Ugwafe to Afashe. This is the biggest festival in West Africa, believe it or not. Today is Friday. Guess what is going to happen? Orange Friday. The whole of Cape Coast <laughs> is going to be in orange. Everywhere is orange. I've got my shirt. Let me show you. Bro. This is my orange shirt. This is my orange t-shirt. And this is not why we are here today. We are here today to talk about one of the events that is mostly patronized by the good people of Cape Coast during the Ogwa Fetu Afaj. It's a one-week celebration. There's, there's something we do on Monday at Comps Nice where the priests who man our shrines do chant, dance, and say thank you to our God for giving us another year. Thank you to our God for seeing us through all the challenges we have gone through. Now, on Tuesday, there's something called Bakatwe. That is in our language. In English, let me try and translate it. In English, we say we are removing or lifting a ban on something. But at this time, lifting a ban that was placed for fishermen not to fish in the lagoon because we believe the lagoon is a God. And they provide us fish. So then, during the festive season, there is a ban on fishing. And then after a ritual that is done, when the stick is removed, that was stuck in the lagoon, is removed. Then the first net is cast. This is where we see Yanyanam. This year, when the first net was cast, the, the, the fish were so huge and big that you couldn't believe it. Now, before that, there's an event that is called regatta. Now, the regatta is a canoe race between the Asafa companies in Cape Coast. We have seven Asafa companies. And this time, the Inkum people who wear the yellow outfit came out first from the canoe race. Now, I'm not going to talk much. I'm just going to show you exactly what happened on the Tuesday of the festival where these three Asafa companies who participated giving the energy the heat was so much that i had to fly a drone in order to capture from the sky so i'm going to show you the drone shot of the canoe race or the regatta that happened on tuesday and after that the beautiful procession by the good people of cape coast the kings and queens marching through the beautiful street of ogwa to the lagoon the bacanodo where they did a ritual did everything they had to do and the first net 
was cast. And I'm telling you, this is something if you if 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 you couldn't witness this, this year, I'm showing you on my screen. But if you couldn't uh, 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 participate this year, then I'm inviting you for 2025. Come Oguafe to Afashe and let's build. Come to Oguafe to Afashe and you would experience the people. Today, I said it's a Friday. It's going to be Orange Friday, but I am here to show you what happened during the regatta. Shout out to the Inkum people who are so brave. Shout out to the Inkum Asafa companies who are very brave. And they came out as the successful, as the winners, as the as the as the as the strongest as of a company here in Cape Coast. I call Simpson connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland.
Yeah, yeah. 